four views. Three weeks later, it has seven views. I, uh, I was not about that life. What's up, go-getters? Welcome back to Milimani. And on this channel, we discuss matters personal finance. So if you're interested in taking complete control of your finances, it's time to smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell. So yeah, today, today is our birthday. Yes, we turned one here on Milimani. Actually, today, the 6th of September 2020 is when the first video went up. So as a celebration, we are putting up a second video. So we had a video last Saturday and today it's a Monday, it's not Kawaida. We are also having another video. So I really hope you're going to enjoy this video because it's a, it's a celebration, it's a party. Oh, it's a party, party for everyone, looks. okay? Sawa, sawa. So today I want us to talk about um, the journey. Yeah, so I've been on YouTube for one year. What has the journey been like? What are the things that have surprised me? What have I learned? And all that good stuff. Okay, and the very first thing I'm going to begin with is learning. Eh, 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 learning. So when I started YouTube, me had never done a video before. I had never talked to a camera before. I had never shot, edited, you know, all this stuff. I never done it. So if there's one thing this one year has taught me, it's just how much capacity that I have and that I'm sure you have to learn. So everything is on YouTube, you know, how to edit, how to make studio with section black and white, how to add music, what apps to use to edit. You can learn absolutely everything from YouTube. So if you've been sitting there wanting to start a YouTube channel and you're like, oh, you know, I don't know how to edit. You don't need to know. You just need to start. So learning has been a steep, steep curve for me. Learning how to do it, learning how to research, how to script, how to shoot, how to edit, how to market. Eh, because... You people need to watch these videos, by the way. Subscribe and watch because I'm out here in all groups. By the way, if you belong to our WhatsApp group with me, I apologize because every Saturday, Kama Kawaida, I always throw in the links. And I'm sure so many of you are pissed off, but it is what it is. We have to market these videos. So yeah, that is the very first thing. It's just learning. And one interesting factor about learning is sometimes the more you learn, the more you realize you don't know. So the more you need to learn, you discover there are new things to learn. Like recently, I've now been thinking about scripting, you know, thinking about my videos, thinking about every single thing that I put out to you, my diction, how do I say it? Uh, how will I have more impact? Yeah. So all these things I didn't know when I was starting. Me, I just sat down, did the very first video, which was like a mess. If you go to my first video, don't go. But it was a kind of mess because there are so many things I didn't know. Yeah. So the very first thing is the amount of learning involved in creating uh, a YouTube channel, in having a YouTube channel, in hosting it, in doing the research is amazing. And obviously, that aside, there's all the learning because the channel is about money. So there's so much that I have learned, there's so much I have grown into because I have to consistently consume, you know, correct information about money so that when I come here, man, it's not just airhead, yeah, I have content for you guys. So that's the very, very first thing. Learning, learning, learning. And I'll keep learning if you have more points for me, how I can improve, put Work up our comments, work up our comments, opportunity, because learning is a beautiful journey and I love it. So that's the very first thing about YouTube, learning. Number two, it's the power of just do it. Okay, yeah, 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 what is just do it? See, Nike, just do it is just press record. I know for a long time I was hesitant to start the YouTube channel. I was like, ah, this is what am I going to be talking about? Like I knew before I found the niche, before I found what I want to do, talking about money, I knew that I would want to be in the YouTube space. But now I didn't know exactly. What I would say is start. Imagine just start. Just record. Because you might be sitting there waiting for things to be perfect, waiting for the moments to be right. It will never be right. Yeah, I mean, I started with my Infinix phone. Uh, the first nine videos I shot with the phone that I had that time. An Infinix, an Infinix X. 602 to be very very specific it's not that it was the greatest i didn't have a mic i didn't have there's so many things that i didn't have but it didn't matter you just sit next to a window and you shoot with natural lighting and that is all you need to do just do it so if there's something that you've been telling yourself oh you know i need to start this i need to start the other thing whether it's youtube whether it's a podcast whether it's running whether it's doing an exercise it doesn't matter just do it you just need to start and then from there it will always become easier because you already have done the worst i mean my very first video is probably the worst video i'm ever gonna do because now i'm better now i know because of point number one now there's so much i know so i'm not gonna produce a bad video like the very first video you know what i'm saying exactly so that is point number two this you just got to do it by the way my first video you know i'm dissing it i love that video and it got a lot of views 
thank you you guys go get us you're amazing but the reason why i'm saying you just do it if you go to my very first video you'll notice something very <laughs> very funny because the video and the audio are not in tandem completely they're not like in sync so like either my words are ahead of the video or the video there's, there's a mess there with the video versus the words and i just didn't know how to sync them you know that time you're shooting there's these things called frame rates me i don't know what are frame rates so i didn't know how to make sure that if you shoot with a phone and you ex there was just a lot of mess all i'm saying is i put that video up even though it was not perfect and that is what you need to do because sometimes you wait for things to be perfect they are never gonna be perfect just do it that's something i have truly learned from this video okay so point number three point number three is wow the kind of people you can meet so yeah doing youtube for for this long has taught me so much because first of all there's the people you can meet second of all they're the people you already have so the let me start with the people you can meet i've been dming people out here and they respond and we do videos together yeah it's not like i knew someone like just ivy before or ben psycho i didn't know these people i didn't know caris you just dm them you tell them your vision tell them what you want to do with them give them a plan and you shoot so by the way you need to shoot your shot yeah <laughs> point number three is just shoot your shot because you're going to be extremely surprised so i like that the platform truly gives me an opportunity to meet people that i would have never met to interact with people that i would have never interacted with and it's completely completely amazing i i love this platform for that reason because now i'm even more confident to reach out to more people i'm even more confident to do amazing more amazing stuff because i have seen that is it is actually possible so that is point number three and if you're enjoying this video it's time to give it a like thumbs up be free by the way just just like this video. at least that any birthday basi like it because ni birthday sick to ingine anniversary sawa yeah so that is point number three now let's go to number four number four and five are the some kind of some type of way so number four is the challenge of consistency and excellence hey those things have kimbizad me because i told myself when i started this channel i told myself i don't want to ever miss an upload every single week i'm going to have an upload and i've been very very fortunate that over this one year every single saturday apart from the first video the first video came out on a sunday because of the issues i have just explained you get you get yeah but every single saturday i've put out a video and that level of consistency is i know to you i think oh that's really nice congratulations it's great it is really great but it is also very consuming you know it requires a lot from you because i'm a person you know like you and me i'm just human so there are times in the year i was sick there are times in the year i was bored there are times in the year that you know like my phone got stolen if you've not watched that video ndakuwekea link hapa and i wanted to cinema iliyotendeka so 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 many things happen and sometimes they can derail you from your commitment but if you choose if you say there is nothing that's going to derail you you know um you can make things happen so that is consistency when it comes to excellence here is where i will truly pull up my socks in the coming year um excellence is about top notch video yeah because there are times that i found myself in that situation that um feel there's this guy called Phil. Phil Philip Karanja is a producer and he says is it bora video ama video bora? Yeah. Bora video video bora. So there are times that anyway the same content I've put out here on this channel I can have the confidence to admit that it was bora video. You know, I was like, "Hey, me I just need a video for Sato. I take my stuff, I set up, I do a video and I move with it." And it's not exactly the right way to do things because I would want to really you know show a lot of gratitude for all the 1023 subscribers um on this channel that i owe you a lot of quality that i owe you um good well researched content that i owe you well edited content as well that is entertaining manze have you ever tried to make taxes entertaining bro bro i bro ni hard so that sector where it is consistency and at the same time you want to put out something that is high quality so you're aiming for excellence that one has been a challenge there are videos that i'm very very proud of i put in a lot of work i i truly you know research i did the scripting well i shot well i edited well then when i can talk like so in a challenge all i'm saying point number four <laughs> point number four is that it can be a challenge to kind of just push through making sure that every single week as you have promised your subscribers you put out content so if you know any content creator who is consistent by the way abu big them up because it's not easy yeah and then if they're consistent and they give you good quality 
uh, content wa 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 apewe mbili kama ni bia ama ni mayai whatever apewe mbili because it's not easy ah uh, point number five. hey this one is if you are having a channel out here don't do not thou shall not obsess over the numbers don't do it because uta cheesy yeah like i remember for me i was very fortunate you, i told all my friends before i put up my first video i was telling them yo misa kini yake video iko na four views manze four views three weeks later it has seven views i uh, i was not about that life so i told all my friends yo what's up i have set up a youtube account my first video is going out this weekend kindly subscribe in your show of faith <laughs> in your show of faith that I can actually do something. So by the first time I was putting out my very first video, I think I had over 100 subscribers at that point. Very first video. And that first video did very very well. You know, it had I don't know, I can't remember the exact um, the exact figures, but it did well. So I was excited. I was like, "Ah, come in the video ya kwanza. Si ni hivyo. Si I'm about to fly." I didn't. Flying did not happen. There were no wings because after that the next video I put out, it got even lower views. And the next video lower it felt like that fancy hotel you know the way we've been all saying oh oh let's go to this hotel let's go then everyone is flocking to go there yeah 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 Nairobi street kitchen it's you we are talking about and then after one three months four months that does not happen you know because you just go in there because of excitement but maybe you not it's not your style or maybe you just wanted to try it out or maybe it's just trendy you know you want to say okay Mili YouTube anafanya nini uko let me just go and check so that kind of happened with me um it's very very unfortunate ah, yeah yeah that really really broke my heart so don't focus on the numbers because they keep going up and down some of my favorite videos you guys didn't like them as much some of the videos that did so well i'm like wait what how why yeah like that video about uh, seven signs you're living above your means that video just flew and i'm just like okay like it's, it's a good video but how is it so unique compared to a b and c you know what i'm saying so don't don't obsess don't obsess over the likes people might not like your video at first don't obsess over your subscribers views and view counts and things like those don't even obsess. i remember the first time i got a dislike i was like yani someone they decide they watched my video and they decided it's terrible that broke my heart that kind of broke my heart so i was like okay so so by now i have gotten a few dislikes it's kind of okay i'm used to it but if this video is not beneficial to you if you think it sucks it's okay you can give me a dislike just kidding give it a like give it a like anyway so those are some of the things that i have learned so far on youtube being here for one year and and here i actually did another video with a friend of mine called stace so stace and i did a video called um you know things they don't tell you about youtubing and i'm going to be linking up uh, that video in the links and i'm also going to be putting it in the description box down below so go check out that video because we also it was a fun it was a very fun video uh we got some good good laughs and you're also going to get a few other points that are very very related to this video about okay what is what is it like having a youtube channel so those are some of the things I've learned. Those are some of the things I've been doing. I hope you have enjoyed uh, this short video. No, it's not too short. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I hope that you are happy that we are having our first anniversary. Sasa mchezo na mpesa. Nikule keki. Siezi kuwa niki produce video. Too many mpesa. Thank you. Yeah, so that is all for this particular video. I'm going to be seeing you guys next week. And until then, kick ass.